Guys, we're in for a treat today. Unfortunately, I had the intro muted. Apologies. It is what it is. I'm I'm a bad YouTuber or something. But look, the reason why we're gonna be spectating quads today is because most of you guys suck at it. It's true. We have our games too. Um, a lot of players spend too much time watching streamers and YouTubers and watching these top tier players run off by themselves and take on one before. So oh dude. Could have just walked around, my guy. So in turn, people want to copy that and mimic that habit and do it themselves. What they do is fine. They've been practicing. They've got hours and hours and hours and hours in this game. Thousands of hours in this game, guys. That's why they're able to do this. But for your average player, you guys have got to use teamwork. Let's just look at this right now. We're still in the looting phase. I get it. Everyone wants to loot their own shit. I get it. But dude, what happens if there's another squad here holding hands? Then what? You're going to get an absolute dolly wop. Blues can get picked off. Orange get picked off and so on and so forth. We're lucky. We're fortunate right now. But that's not the case. But... If you guys play like this during looting phase, what do you think is going to happen in a fighting phase? The same exact thing. The same exact thing. Not to mention, we can buy our loadout right now. So at this moment in time, I would legit stop looting. Go buy your loadout. First and foremost, most important thing for you guys to do is get your damn loadout. That flag objective, that recon can wait. Go get your loadie and then go to it. Because that right there is sending off a huge beacon to the world saying, Hey, come shoot on my face. Right? You guys need to get your and get it together but still here we are looting picking objectives and things like that and i'm all for objectives but get your load out my guy scoop and a half of blizzard guys make sure you stock up on blizzard hey, they're they're selling out fast i just got me another three bottles um yesterday actually i need a front porch uh, but make sure you stock up dude i've been through, since blizzard released the, uh a month ago two months ago however long it's been i've taken out four tubs of that stuff it is the best flavor i've ever had period and it's limited which sucks but it is what it is man the hand we're dealt so how many of you guys still watch these videos but play rebirth now i'm genuinely curious if i just need to start posting rebirth content on like a second channel because I, i've noticed a trend of players just stop playing caldera because it's kind of a weird map and now they're playing rebirth so let me know in the comments if you guys would like a rebirth channel or respect tape post gameplay things like that just kind of do a mixture of things All right, here we are thinking about something. He bought a pers- Okay. I mean, Mark's got enough money to buy it, but he just walked away from the, from the buy station. What level is Mark, dude? Please, Mark, be the level 27. Nope. Nope. Team's pushing on us now. It looks to be like loadout weapons. So here we are running back to the pack. Now this, dude, this is a complex game for sure. For sure. But there is no reason anybody with eyeballs and eardrums to be playing like this. I mean, you're legitimately getting shot from the hill. We know there's a team up here. And still we go to the loadout at this point in time to get beamed from the guys on the hill weird right now yeah they they waited to get their free load out i get that but look at what they're in now they've got a team shooting on the hill they got a team above them in a helicopter with the level three bounty on them. and another helicopter just arrived so if you want to wait for your loadout that's fine wait for the loadout i definitely do not recommend it get your loadout as fast as possible so you can start going hunting Otherwise, you're going to become the hunted, just like we are now. And it looks like we're we potentially might be third party. It depends on what this helicopter ends up doing. Although, to be 100% honest, the helicopter looks like he's just watching the fight happen. And hopefully, the guys on the hill will push over and kill us. And you know, it might be mean that I want these players to die, but it's just a lesson learned, dude. They need to learn this lesson. They need to. And unfortunately, for a lot of players, when they, when they die... They want to blame everything in the game but themselves but this gameplay here you ain't got nobody to blame but yourself homie nobody now level 46 okay i get it you know little mark i forgive you bro like your new player motor motor tactico not no forgiveness at all uh-uh i don't care if you're playing multiplayer or not again dude this game and battle royales have been out for years years not to mention it's a first person shooter what are we we're not shooting anything i don't think anyone's fired their gun yet on this team i don't even have a headset on and I know damn well it's going crazy. I know this is about to get twisted and this team about to get it rocked. 
from what I'm guessing with this team, I'd say this lobby is a 0.3 KD. It'll probably end up being something di different, but that's how they're playing. That's how these enemies are playing too. I'm so blown away. The team on the hill had, had us dead to rights. All they had to do was push. They were spread out on the hill pretty nice. They could have easily won that fight, but instead they allowed us to run away and come back up here to this other hill. And now we're just gonna stare at each other because that's what that's what we do in Warzone. Look at these guys. Y'all aren't much better off, dude. Just launching clusters and shit. Little Mark going in with a sniper. Let's go, brother. I'm proud of you, homie. Dude, enemy just ran right next to us. Oh, boys. Oh, this is a lobby. Oh, my God. He just ran right past us. When our dude takeover was AFK. Look at this. Look at this. Vendor here if you need to buy. You can always tell a lobby just based on the weapons that they use. Man, this would have been a really nice lobby to solo quad. Holy crap. Holy crap. It's easy for me to stand up and stay energized when there's shit happening, but this here, bro... This is the beautiful story of the little bot that could. Look at this. Look at this. Dropping ammo. Once upon a time, ladies and gentlemen, there was a bot that decided to load up in a war zone because they truly believed in themselves as a person, as a player. And they also believed in the bush that was next to them, protecting them from all incoming fire from enemies all around, of all ethnicities, of all countries, and of origin. And no sh given at all. Once upon a time, little bot, Mr. Takeover, decided to run from his entire team and heartbeat enemy to death and somehow got a kill. Let's go! Let's go, and the harder that little bot tried, the more he got confident. But in the end, because he's a bot, he ended up getting wrecked. Rest in peace, little Takeover. Rest in peace, bro. And bro, Ski Soto. Is left alive but it's funny he lands right back over here let's see let's see dude you never know man broski may have the ability and he's just trolling us this whole time what if he pulls a regain of the century outplays that trio over there because your boy got one kill and moves up i believe in him bots should believe in themselves now look, we're poking fun, guys, but again, dude, if you, if you guys are going to continuously play like this, it's going to be very, very hard. Granted, Broski, level 27. It's probably his first second game, whatever. But as a body player, if you guys identify as a bot. Look at that little head. Oh, no, go back. Go back. No. If you refuse to learn from your... Nice shot. If you refuse to learn from your mistake... When you die, oh my God, bro. You're gonna consistently repeat them, unwillingly. Now right there, Hamburglar ran out in the middle of the street to contest us and he could have just played the heady. Our dude Broski had not really good accuracy at all by any stretch of imagination. Oh yeah, you're dead. like that the story of the little bot that could comes to an end guys look that story's copyrighted if you want to read it to your little toddler make you can but don't don't sell that on the internet all right don't sell that shit on the internet copyrighted but here i'm moving on to level 508 jeez yep yep that's the difference um level 367 665 and a 460 now we saw in the video the other day that the level does not correlate skill 
we watched level 1000 run into a wall and die with no kills so we ain't gonna put much emphasis or hope on their on their level but but they should have a lot more experience than the last squad and we'll see they do have the lid already so that's promising not really a fan of the build but you know whatever it is it is what it is I know someone in the comments right now. I was like, Savage, that's a really nice build. But it, 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 shh, shh, it's isn't about you. All right. We're going back to the, the emphasis on teamwork, bro. I mean, what? Mr. Titan Team Boy, what are you doing? Way over here by yourself. Your teammate's getting loady and you're getting absolutely dolly, dolly whopped by two different players. But all hope is not lost. We just bought back Fart Bubble. The carry of the squad, I'm assuming, with a name like that. Here we are. Look, I'm just landing with pure confidence right on that loadout drop. Ooh. Oh, daddy. Stuck the fucking landing. There you go. I'm proud of you, brother. I am proud of you. No. I was about to say, why would you even pick it up? But okay. I, I got, that's fine. You're going to swap it out for the car. That's fine. I'm not a variable that beast. Now, I'm not a fan of any of the Vanguard snipers. I think they're all Garbo. Every one of them. Absolute Garbo. But here lately, with the change in the health system, the extra 50 HP on base health, I feel like that has slick side kind of nerfed the Swiss and the Car 98 from MW. So I don't know. I think all snipers right now are in a really weird place. Swiss is still usable. Car's still usable, but these guns here, always garbage. And I know someone in comments again is gonna be like, Savage, I got a crazy build. No, you don't. I got a friend that uses that shit. His name, his name is Keel. He doesn't know any better either. Don't tell him I said that. Here we are pushing up on him down. Uh, I was a waste of a cluster. The reason why it's a waste of the cluster is we can use that cluster for other other things. Like right now, we're being shot from the behind. What are you what are you wasting all of your tacticals and lethals on, brother? Every tactical and lethal in your inventory, you decided to, sh to throw away. Now let's let's just recap this whole fight right there. Let me just think for a second. I mean, holy crap! We had a knock. We should have saved the cluster analyze the entire thing where's the rest of the teammates at and then push across accordingly and together instead we push across by ourselves into the unknown wasting all of our clus all of our lethals and tacticals our teammate waits in a cluster strike that by the way didn't get the kill anyway now the point of not wasting the cluster in that situation was the fact that we didn't know the rest of the teammates are so as we're pushing across to push that knock which i'm for kind of sort of sometimes is if we get shot from another enemy, you can launch it on that area and suppress them. But instead, what happened? Well, three of our homies got rocked, and now here we are sitting here in the bush, heart beating the wall, praying to God that the Call of Duty heavens open up and suck the enemies from the earth. Oh yeah, fine. Yo, you better cozy yourself in this corner, little birdie. You better cozy up, clown boy. All right. And you're fighting going on enemy to our right hand side are we gonna take advantage of that no we're gonna wait for the enemy to close the gap push around the right hand side there he is all oh, weird did he get the knock though nice the real mp was just very delayed in that reaction time i don't think he had one at all anyway now look all these guys are crossing the open bro don't blind yourself homie look at them watch them coming on that hill and shoot them in the face but instead we're gonna sit here and suck on the leaves hell yeah that's the play that's the play. That's going off the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Enemy in front of us. Oh, weird what happens when you look. You got more. I like that camo on that gun. What the hell? That's fire. I didn't think about putting a camo over that one. That's nice. The tracers are ugly, but it's nice. See him on the mini map, you know exactly where they are. Exactly where they are. But no, we're gonna go into a bush. Told you guys the level does not correlate. Shit. Fortunately for you guys, we have two stories and two fairy tales in this video. We have the adventures of a bush Wookiee, which is our next episode into the saga. 
Look how the bush wookie shoots at an enemy and still misses all of his shots because of lack of practice. Because why? Because he sits in bushes for a living. And look, he just crossed backwards this the exact same bush. But guess what? He gonna die. He gonna die. They know where you're at, brother. Oh, let's throw a nade out. There you go. Yo, Chief Queef, hand clap. Can we get some hand claps in the comment section for your boy, Chief? What in the hell did we just witness? What in the hell did we just witness? Here we are moving on to another squad that is absolutely doing a decent job. You got 10 kills from your boy. You got four kills. You got five kills. Nothing crazy at all by any stretch of imagination, but but they're running the lobby compared to what, we, what we've what we been spectating. So, nope, they're probably better off. Will they win? It's Warzone. Who knows? Maybe not. But, man, the collapse of the teams just... I mean, everyone's just playing solos out here. It's like people play solos in, in, in groups of four. Y'all realize that teamwork is the only way to win quads efficiently, right? You guys keep running off by yourself, trying to be the goats that you watch. You are going to have a very rough time. You see movement back there. Yeah, yeah, you saw it. You saw it, brother. Now, the problem I have with this is we're in the middle of the zone. So if we do push this fight, which you know, I don't want to tell you not to push the fight, but if we do push it, we have a huge chance of getting shot from the guys on the hill right here. Uh, other teams playing the edge basically when it comes to end game i want to stay away from the center of the circle and play the edge if i can if the terrain dictates that the edge is sh in the middle is the best then fine but this is not one of those circles all right we see enemy over here and that's when i would rotate around kill him you know where he's at kill him before he moves around then he don't know where he is then he kills you later but we're gonna sit here and camp all right all righty Look at this build, bro. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This team is not looking too hot now. Decent snap from one target to another. Can't hate on him. If he had a better build, he'd be in a better position, but. He's being shot from the left hand side right now, which is kind of dangerous to push these guys, but we're doing it anyway. We gotta be very careful from the glint. Right on purple, dude. We're lucky he can't he's missing. And this is what I mean, guys. Like, I'll tell you guys strategies all day long. But at the end of the day, dude, it really relies on how good the enemies are around you. Like, pushing that guy, for instance. It looks like it was a great idea. But in that essence, if that was me on the hill sniping, this team would get wiped. i snipe everyone in the freaking face. Never mind. Or any decent sniper, for that matter. Never mind. But now we're down to two more teams. We do have... Possibly a trio and two duos. One enemy running over there to the 30. That was awesome. Now, snapshots with restock is kind of broken. If you guys really want to rock snapshots, you definitely have to rock restock. It's probably your best passive strategy right, right now, to be honest. Or even aggressive. You want to push some buildings. Good break away from the enemy. Then his teammate is rotating to the right hand side further back. But he's sitting right there. You saw him. He was just sitting on the rock, bro. Vulnerable as sh. He didn't see him. Grenade out. There you go. The Snapshots, man. Don't sleep on them, boys. Don't sleep on them. We still have a solo somewhere. This might be him, actually. Your boy working the movement, trying to wrap around, trying to confuse the shit out of us, forcing the reload. Can Purple help us out? Oh, he doesn't need to. We're able to win the fight. Now we're down to a 2v3, but never mind. Alpha doing work up there. I should have been spectating your boy in a, in a solo duo. Good shit. GG, man. But look, guys, the purpose of this video was to just show you guys an example of how all bots play. 
if you guys play like this, don't feel bad. We're picking fun, of course, but it's it's for comedic purposes. It is what it is. But look, dude, if you guys want to improve, you've got to stop playing like this. Don't rely on bushes. Don't rely on heartbeat sensors. Just rely on your eyes and practice your reaction time. If there comes to a point in time where you could shoot an enemy, but you hesitate and you don't, it's going to further affect your gameplay in a negative way. But if you react and you shoot, even if you miss, just practicing and speeding up that reaction time, you will become a better player. For the most part, though, I think all these squads were decently matched. This is one of the few times SB minimum actually works. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel today, and also follow my uncut channel as well as my Twitch. The links will be in the description below. But until next time, you have a good one. Good luck in Warzone.